Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to potential brand new mini series here on the channel. We're gonna be taking a look at Tavern Master. I feel like after playing nothing but horror survival games for the past month or so, from Resident Evil to Death Space to Callisto Protocol, I need just some basic games to goof off with, so that's why we're gonna be taking a look at Tavern Master. I haven't really played the game before, but the fun thing is, can I somehow shut this thing down? Uh, that um, I actually have relatives who do own a inn, and a couple of times I did manage to work there. I wasn't really allowed to work in the kitchen or something because you need to have sanitation paperwork, you need to have the training, you need to know how to cook. So mostly the stuff that I did was restocking the shelves, carrying the heavy stuff and cleaning the dining room and stuff like that. But we're gonna see if finally I will be able to do something in the game which I haven't done for quite a while. And it's try to focus on the decorations because when I did like the 100 days in V Rising or something, the only thing which I really focus upon is just building up the castle and I really ignored all the decorations. So we're gonna go into new game. I have honestly no idea what's waiting for me, but hopefully I will be able to manage this. So I think I'll go with normal, everything is balanced. This is how the game was meant to be played. Welcome to your tavern, you will be in charge of managing and growing your business. Okay, great. Great job, you can also rotate camera by holding right mouse button and moving the mouse around. Ooh, nice. The tavern doesn't look like a tavern at all. One wall is missing. There are no doors and windows. Let's fix that. Okay, so we have like a building menu. We have a fancy wall. I have to construct the doors. Great job. Let's buy some tables and benches. I think that's going to be in the furniture department. Seats. Show lights. Lights. Now that you have enough seats for our guest, next step would be to buy beer to serve. Okay. Buy beer, you should go to the bar first. Click on the bar to open the menu. Beer barrel. Currently only have water to serve. Let's buy another barrel to store beer. To serve the bird beer, we first have to fill the barrel. Click to fill the barrel. Wow, okay, that's quite expensive beer. So this is giving me at least some basic instructions on how to manage. Great job, we have place for people to sit on. We have drinks to serve. Final thing missing is to hire staff. Okay, hunter, bartender, uh, carries four drinks, two drinks, five drinks. Every day you will get new candidates for hiring. Pick one of these four by clicking the hire button. Carries seven drinks, speed two and a half. Okay, everyone has the same speed. Speed carrying. This dude carries seven drinks simultaneously. Drink pouring 1.5. I'll go and get this guy, at Abram. And we need a waitress. Okay. Climbing stairs, there's going to be another floor. Good to know. Four drinks, five drinks. I think I'll go with her. Caitlin. High priority, it will be done before oral. Other lower priorities. We prepared everything need for guests to start coming in. Before we unpause the time, let's see how you can unlock the stuff for the tavern. Click the research button. Wow, okay. Upgrades are researched by serving different types of guests, and you can see the cost of research on the left side of it. A kitchen we need to serve 25 common guests. Okay. Our only portion right now is to research the kitchen, so click on the research button to start. After kitchen is finished, three more upgrades 
will be available. Number of guests per day tells you how many people will come in your tavern and average every day. Buy decorations and upgrade your tavern to increase that number. Okay, we all are set to open our tavern. My final tip to you is that watch out if there is enough space to sit. If all the seats are taken, buy more tables and benches. Good luck. Okay, so I'm not really sure how long will this go for and we have not that much money left. So we have beer and water. Own four tables, own eight benches, change the tavern name by clicking the sign outside of the tavern, finish any research. Some funny tavern name. What can we use? Trying to think. I don't know how long can it be. Gory Club Tavern. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I just googled a bunch of things and... Uh, I don't know, the white key actually sounds kind of interesting. Naughty Gnome, Angry Orc, Yellow Blue Ale House, or Yellow Bottle... Yellow Bottle... Ale house. <laughs> okay, let's go with that. Uh, we. I'm not sure if I'll get the money at the end of the day, or when do I get the money? We can try to get more tables. I just have to probably make sure that there's space for people to sit on. So we're increasing the amount of people. Ooh, seems like we got the priest coming in. I'm quite sure he's gonna order water. Guests for day 20. Decorations. I. I swear to god, I don't think getting a rug is the right idea because, well, like, god damn it, someone would have to clean it eventually, you know? Speaking of, I have carpet in my living room which I have not put into the washing machine for quite some time. I think I should try to do that sometime. <laughs> Well, there's quite a lot of empty cups on the tables, so I don't know if I'll need like another person And until what time can we like push this? Change the Terran name so That's done Finish any research, own eight benches For that we need that table, but if I go and start spending money <coughs> And I won't have anything. I don't know how long does a barrel of alcohol or water last for. And if this is Middle Ages, nobody used to drink water in the Middle Ages because people used to get sick from doing so. 
Because we did not know about stuff like bacteria or the fact that you need to boil the water before you are able to drink it in order to kill anything that can be in the water itself. So that is why people actually drank beer, wine, and all these fermented alcoholic beverages because it was actually after all the time that it took to create that beverage that allowed them to make sure that they will not get sick. Well, they might have gotten drunk out of it, but it is the fact. So people did not really use to drink water that much. Okay. Um, what is this? I think she just leveled up. Um, can carry eight drinks at the same time. That's awesome. Points remaining, speed not carrying, speed carrying. So what are we looking at? Day summary. Total income for May is we're actually losing money, but I'm assuming that's because of all the expenses which we had to make. So there's that. Hey, it actually shows the date on which I'm recording this fun stuff. customer okay that did not happen so far so we have the next day already uh, serve 20 customers it's still not done on eight benches The thing is, I have 130... Okay, finally someone is coming in. I don't know if we open up at 8 a.m. Or when do we open up? This game seems kind of bare bones, but eventually if you build up and have like a massive operation running, a bunch of employees and everything. I think it can be actually quite interesting to see how things turn out. Cursor over furniture in order to paint it. Choose the color below. I'm trying to find... I'm trying to find actually uh, some sort of decorations. I don't like that. Uh, which we might be able to put in. Right now it's kind of a slow day. I don't know if we can put in some advertisements. Is that a bandit or is that like the village? What's the name of the guy who kills everyone on the stick and everything? Oh my god, the word has just totally escaped me. Beer is slightly more popular than water, it seems. Why wouldn't a guy with a cross sit next to another guy with a cross? Maybe they're from like different church or something, so they don't like each other. That's possible. The thing is, if I spend 100 on a carpet... And especially if I like put it underneath the benches and everything, I'm just not sure if that's the prettiest thing. Something to be considered. I don't know how these uh, wall decorations affect the place. <sighs> ah, there are the decorations, finally.
Okay, now to just figure out how the hell did I get there. Ah, okay. Lights special. Kitchen. Garden. Wow, there's actually quite a lot of things which we can go for. But due to the new decoration pieces I just installed there, I'm broken. <laughs> or I'm broke, not broken. My English is broken. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, I gotta say, this is definitely a pleasant change of pace from like Dead Space and games like that. I need to come up with some new game which I'll be covering on the channel. It's just that I'm not really sure what to go for. There is like a discount for Far Cry 6, but honestly. Ever since like Far Cry Primal, I, I feel like the franchise has just gone downhill. And uh, I really did not enjoy Far Cry 5. And it's it's not really that much of a great game to even cover on the YouTube. And uh, when it comes to Harry Potter, I've never been a huge Harry Potter fan, so not really sure what I'll be taking a look at. There's definitely the games which I started before that I would love to return to and like at least finish those but I definitely would love to bring something new to the channel in order to make it fun for you to watch while I try to work on the 100 days in video games and other series here on the channel. But uh... Yeah, that, that's gonna take a while. I, honestly, I thought that uh, I might try to use the tactic where I will be like recording like one fifth of the video and then I'll uh, like edit it. But so maybe I'll just have to record all the footage and then I will be able to maybe be able to uh, like just keep grinding eventually until the video is fully. Uh, e edited and, and ready to be published on the channel. I really don't know the my schedule has been absolutely horrible as of late, so It's gonna be interesting Go to kitchen shop hire a chef Set to buy kitchen counter plate shelf and a crate wait for customers to order food. Ooh, wow uh, We need to hire a chef I think I might need a second waitress. Uh, speed, skill for dessert, main courses. I think an equally balanced skill is gonna be beneficial, so I think I'll go for Hugo. Be hired because there isn't a kitchen counter. Five drinks. Do I really need a second waitress? Okay, we can level you up. Let's increase your... Possibilities. Five drinks. Oh, these two ladies are almost identical. Marion and Judy. So we have now two ladies. And okay. Finish any research. Own eight benches. Uh, build. Where or oh, where do I want to build my kitchen? Maybe having it behind here would be the smart choice. Okay. I don't think having wooden floorboards is a good idea inside of a kitchen. Just because your floor can catch on fire. 
which probably is not the best thing. Give this guy uh, crap. Two windows is probably too expensive, but it is already in. Kitchen! I won't have enough money! No! <laughs> God damn. It's gonna be a problem. I need more money. <laughs> You're missing kitchen counter on floor zero. Yeah, you did not give me enough cash. And I've spent <laughs> too much money on the window. <laughs> I'm gonna F up the tutorial sequence. <laughs> oh, man. If anyone can get killed in a tutorial, it's probably me. <laughs> God damn it. Um, a lemonade. Uh, seven guests per day of musicians. Uh, you get these special guests by organizing events and improving who rating. You know what, let's go probably for the lemonade first. I'll have to even think about, like, restocking the beverages. If we're gonna go broke, we're gonna go broke properly. And I'm not really sure if I could have reduced the size of the kitchen, increased the size over here so that we have more room for more customers. Is it possible for me to be relocating items? Like, can I grab something and move it around? Or, or do I have to always, always sell it? Seems like it's actually possible. To do stuff like that. Okay, so I will need a whole lot more money. I will need 250 gold. Almost at the 100 points limit, but... No good. Okay, let's speed this up so the last customer leaves. I know, but you gave me not enough money. What can I tell you? Okay, so we made slightly better profit. But we're still gonna have to go and spend even more. So I'll just move this until it's 8 a.m. and people start moving in. I still think having two servers right now is a little overkill. But we're gonna see. Uh, we're so far in the negative, so we really have to turn profit. I'll speed up the pace of the game. I'll have to make sure that we have some money in our account. It's not that I just want to spend cash, but if I'll like literally go bankrupt in the tutorial sequence, that would be just awkward as hell. But if anyone can do it, it's me. Okay, now the two servants make actually some sort of point. They are able to go deliver drinks. I don't know why they're not bringing in the empty cups back. <coughs> Probably only clean up after the guests leave. Kitchen, we need... again I think getting that fourth table would be absolutely beneficial first so we have some grain apples some broccoli and some meats seems like cheese strawberries mushrooms peas ham walnuts fish coconuts I have no idea what's the last leg of lamb or something that we can get 
Okay. Buy a kitchen crate. Collect the reward. Buy a fire extinguisher. What? Wait, hold on. Where the hell do I get that? Is that like special? Uh, what is this? Fire extinguisher. So that's done. We still need the kitchen counter and a chef. So hopefully I'll make some money until the end of the day so we're not completely broke. Still okay when it comes to beverages. Let's start off the next day. Really need to get that kitchen going. But I also want to make sure to have the fourth table first because that's going to allow me to get these commissions done first. So everything which I want to do is just focus on the overall expansion of the establishment and how many customers we can serve. So right now I'm trying to go just for the basic benches. I think there's an achievement for once you get the kitchen ready. I still think I might have gone a little too big with it. Almost the same size as the DM pub itself. And that's not good. Okay, research. We have lemonade. We're gonna start researching the other guests. Wow, this place is actually full. Get in those things, and this allows me to hopefully almost get the new floor tiles. Still need the kitchen counter in order for us to hire a chef. Hopefully there's gonna be one with the same balance for the pastries and the basic meal preparation. And then maybe one of the ladies can actually just serve the beverages and one of them can serve the food. It's gonna be interesting to see. I think I need like 150. Yeah, 150. I don't know how much money will I have tomorrow. Because there are the expenditures which I need to account for, like, uh, you know, paying the salaries and everything. Fill everything for 56. Oh, we're actually quite busy. That's awesome. I think it's past our closing time, yet people are still there. Uh... Judy, we're going to increase her carrying capacity. You have leveled up awesome speed while carrying. Abraham has leveled up speed while carrying. So three employees are right now happy. Okay, so 135, we made more than we spent. 135 and 55. So we have lost 80 gold for some expenses get the research for the musicians the question is if I can get additional barrel a lemonade barrel costs 200 goddamn that's a lot of cheddar I think I'll try to focus on the kitchen first 
And maybe I'll move the wall. If I would be able to do that over here, get the bar over here, it just might have slightly more space to work with. Let's put it like this. So now we have fulfilled this. So I have the floor tile. Research one star with any food. Buy a new barrel lemonade. Click on a light to find out about the fire risk. Low risk of fire. Okay. We get to the 30 mark, I get 150. New recipe seems like bread or something. Dutch ships in a calm sea. Ooh, that's a fairly nice painting. Uh, question is, do I need the lights even for inside of here? Because there's literally like no light lighting. If I would put it like I'm trying to come up with a system that would allow me for like the cheapest way to do this. I don't think this would add to more people sitting at one table. So... Hire a chef. So I wanted the two skills to be equal. Unfortunately, I'm not really that thrilled with the, the options. I think Godfrey would be the best option right now. Desert Zero main courses. Let's go with Godfrey, or Godfrey, sorry. It's gonna take a while for them to be able to do stuff here, and we're gonna have to manage our supply of everything else. Okay, so that's a turkey leg then. So are they gonna start requesting food or? I have no idea what's gonna happen now. So he's gonna start preparing something. Took some apples, it looks like a salad. One dish so far ordered. Yeah, I have to slow this down in order to determine if the two ladies are doing a good enough job alone. By themselves or not. Is that a pasta dish? I'm not sure what did she get, but okay. Uh, I guess I'll have to start special events takeout. Let's go with that. See what's gonna happen. So we went into the positive 342 versus 230. Serve drinks, take food orders, prepare food, serve food. Total seat 16, average occupancy 100%, just basic common customers it seems like no angry customers were present that day buy a musician's podium reach 60 guests per day reach one star with any food interesting 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 
I think expanding this location would be our priority. That's easier said than done, considering the cost. And I want to get the lemonade barrel too. And now I need like uh, 200 to just to refill everything. Oh, that's not good. Let's just try to refill a portion of the lemonade, see what's gonna happen. And I don't know if I'll need to keep ordering stuff at the start of the day, at the end of the day, and how does the delivery of the provisions work? I don't know if the light is meant to be in the kitchen, honestly. So we'll see what's gonna happen. Getting close to the money reward. Can refill all of them to have a full stack in the barrels, but we don't have to worry about this. I'll have to worry about refilling. It seems like only the wheat and the apples are being used up. It's quite interesting. Drinks, cleaning, food, hotel, takeout, everything is like high priority. We'll definitely need to expand the size of the establishment, put in more seats. I really want to see if it's possible to... Is it possible to actually, like, move the walls around and expand the size here? I'll have to be careful about certain things. Okay, so we went all over with the expand expanses and everything else. Uh, okay, main course is skill. Let's equal it out. Judy, why are you not super excited? Increase salary or level up to improve happiness. We'll try to level her up. Build a takeout counter so you can attract new customers who don't want to sit inside but just order and take their food with them. Build a wall with a counter. Buy takeout counter. Okay, do I need to research these things? This is a research. And Judy, we're gonna increase your carrying capacity. Caitlin is gonna level up eventually. Abram is doing fine. Okay, we're getting close to those dead ships, but a takeout counter. And where would I actually put the takeout counter? Does it go inside or? I'm not sure. What if I would like build it over here or here? Wait, is there a way for me to look up those instructions again? Deserts, apple pie, cream rolls, fruit bowl, bread is too wheat. I'll definitely have to buy some weed or something. We have 18, 18. Nobody's touching the broccoli and the meat. That's a little upsetting. And some other thing had to be constructed or done. 
Fudge, take out counter, I screwed up. Damn it. Where was it? Okay, games, kitchen. Special is this, 150. I'll need the siege for the musicians too, that's 120. But I wanna put the musicians far away from the bar so that they can actually hear what orders to prepare. It's gonna keep the chef a little bit more busy. That's for sure. It's 2 p.m. so I still have time. Where do I build this? This needs to be built inside. Okay, so you definitely know that we're gonna have to do something with expansion of the interior. I don't have the freaking money in order to... move this and expand this size I believe I would be able to fit in more tables we're gonna need money for groceries too I think maybe we have like one more day in us but even that's not probably possible with how much grain we're going through The thing is, if I just buy a lot of it, I'll waste my entire budget. It's probably better to buy in bulk. Gives us room for a few more tables. We will need the lights. Need to put this by a This one is for what six people or it's just more sturdy strong table okay this would be nice if we can cram this guy in that's 400 so we have the same floor texture a smaller kitchen size will do the trick and then we can mess around with like the takeout table being here uh, question is how much money will I have left tomorrow 165 woof that that's that's as brutal, serve only deserts for the whole day. How do I do that? H how do we manage, like, uh, setting up that we can only do deserts? Huh? I have no idea how to select that.
everyone seems to be happy right now, which is great. But uh, seriously, how the hell do I set up that I only serve deserts for a whole day? Sea bass, mushroom, green peas. I think coconut is the most strange ingredient here on the list. Olives would make a little bit more sense. We're still researching the special events. Man, this thing can actually like go for quite a long time, I'm guessing. Especially for a knucklehead like me who cannot make up his damn mind about certain things. I would seriously love to be able to start putting down uh, the big table. But I think it would create a big problem when it comes to... Just uh, how the servants are able to move around. Increasing the size. Giving ourselves one more table to work with. Increasing the potential profits. I don't want to buy a full stack of weed because that's just going to absolutely make me go bankrupt. You unlock the events. Here's how they work. Click on the event. Click the plus button. Choose the event and click confirm. Wait for the event day to come. Woof. Uh, we're gonna go probably for wine, but for that I'll need to start serving rare guests. That's gonna be tricky. Adventures. I'll go for that. I should have moved the table theoretically over here for that takeout location thingy. Let's increase your drink pouring skill. take actually quite a while for you to build up a tavern into like a successful size and everything. And start start up the use. I'm not really sure when it's too much. That it's actually going through the damn wall or something. This thing takes up a lot of space, but I would rather move it into the back here. I think that's what I'll do. I'll move this table over here, put the thing for the musicians over in here, and then we can build around it. Take everything. I don't know what would happen if I would like spend the money. And tomorrow we would have not enough cash to have at the start of the day. Chandelier can be installed. Can be for what well, four people? So I think I'll leave it at this.
I just want to make sure that the decorations do serve a certain purpose and they did, don't obstruct the path, pathway for our servers. That would be the worst thing. I think I called them servants just moments ago. So, that's fun. A window would be also nice, but I don't have the money, probably. A small roof. A banner. A fireplace would be nice, too. Okay, I'll probably be in the negative. So we have the musician's podium. Serve only main courses for a whole day. Reach one star with any dish. I'm not sure how to do either one of these three things. Whoa, that's a big one. It's Tuesday. Friday, uh, what can we do? Regular party. Wine tasting. We have the prestige. Water, lemonade. Okay, there's actually quite a lot of stuff. Uh, let's go in two days to make it this. I'm not really sure how that's gonna affect uh, the establishment because it's showing me the orange guests. Uh, speed climbing stairs is right now not important. Uh, let's increase your skill for soups. I did not even know we can make soups. One person band, eight songs. Guess wait ten seconds. Rotate the band towards the crowd. Okay. I'm not sure when the board will show up. But those expenses are piling up, that's for sure. to the beverages I think I'll start researching the wine <clears throat> see where where the bottleneck will take place maybe this is like the wine rack or I'm not really sure what this is used for here on the wall seems like it's meant to hold something but hard to tell So far, we're doing good, at least, with not having angry customers. <clears throat> so that's making me happy. And there goes the musician. So it's 50 per day. Quite a lot. So I guess the waiting might be actually beneficial that it gives time to the servants to... Or servers. Why, why do I keep calling them servants? To deliver the beverages and the meals to the guests and make them less angry. I'm gonna start working towards expansion. Definitely getting more people in here would be the way to go. Let's 
Let's refill. Uh, let's level this up. Regular event. Okay. I'm not sure how many times this needs to be served. Cherry cake with apples. It's kind of a ripoff if you ask me, but okay. On menu, apple pie, cream roll. How do I eliminate, like, only... Desert's main course is none. Maybe this is how I can make sure that they would, uh, like, you know, get these things. One star with any food. Wait, how the hell did I just get there? Okay, menu, events. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. I think I might need one more servant already. There's like two cherry pies and everything. <clears throat> so let's go hire a waitress. Someone who has at least some decent skills. Not carrying, carrying, climbing stairs. We don't have stairs right now. So I think I might go with Lily. <clears throat> and what else? Chefs? Let's see how this is gonna turn out. Cherry pie with apples. I cannot believe I'm running such establishment. I think one bar has the capability to... Like... Yeah, four servants. Okay. So we will need, like, a second bar then. I have to remove everything else from the menu and just make the deserts for the whole damn day. Judy has leveled up. Everyone is happy so far, which is awesome. We're gonna need to get those rare guests. Uh, the next day is the regular party, if I understand it correctly. Refill 150 liters of any drink. All the guests for this event have been served. You received 200 as a reward. Okay. Wait, there's like nothing happening, however, inside. So I just planned an event. And that, that's it? Okay, that's well, slightly confusing. Don't just stand there, do something, ladies, come on. I'll definitely need to expand here, but I'm trying to think how I do this. I was thinking maybe I would be able to put like the longer table by the board or something. And then just stick to the regular ones again. Uh, putting some decorations in here would be also probably a good idea. Question is how much can I expand? Can we have like an outside area where people would actually sit? Because it's like constantly raining in this game so... At least I think it's constantly raining in this game. That's why I would understand it's more fun for them to just go and drink inside. Maybe we can actually have like an outside area. That would be nice. Interesting. Interesting concept. 50, 100, 150. Okay, floor texture. Thankfully, we don't have to pay for that. And I would have to cram in some tables and stuff like that. We're still gonna make some money. We have the reserves of the food. Nobody seems to be ordering anything. 
I don't know if I'll need like another chef or what what's the deal. Bard keeps playing, which is nice. I'll definitely break through the wall. Maybe move the guy over here. We're definitely gonna have to put in some lights. Probably the chandelier is gonna be the easier way to manage this. Uh, wow, okay, that has quite the high chance of actually catching on fire. Don't know what's gonna happen to the board when I move this thing over here. And if we would put like the long tables here or something. Or maybe I'll keep the board stable here. Sturdy tables are sturdy tables, they just cost a whole lot more, but they serve the same amount of people. I'm trying to think how to do this. Theoretically, we would be able to cram in a fireplace behind the band and put like the long table over here. Also, window would be nice, you know, like putting the fireplace here and then having the long table here. I'll have to figure this out, one out. That's for sure. We'll see how many funds we will have at the end of the day. I might be able to get the barrel with the wine, but that's another large expense. Okay, the bard has left. We spent more than we made today, but it was necessary. Okay, went almost 200 into negative. Definitely need to fix that. Okay, hold on. I'll think I'll remove the bread from the menu so that we are only making sweet things and therefore get closer to the next reward. Serve only deserts, so that's gonna be like four points. It's gonna get us to 49. By the adventurer's table. What the hell? 1,000? Oh my god, okay. We're already starting to get into the positive. Okay. Maybe I would leave like area by the river to be like for outside seating if that's even a thing in this game. I'm really not sure. Playing this for the first time ever. Hard to believe, huh? <laughs> uh, so the lights are definitely gonna have to put in some... Uh, fire prevention mechanism Kitchen is We would need definitely a second chef if we want to be making takeout a possibility I might relocate this table somewhere around here so That we can have the takeout thing located close by the entry Okay, if I would be able to accumulate enough for 400 to like smack down that large table, I would be ecstatic. Oh, 
Okay, what are we missing? Good thing that there's a notification. I would have completely missed it. gaps between the tables right now or two full squares I'm not sure how many people can be seated by this table that's something which I'll definitely consider messing around with so this table will be relocated the, the bar can be relocated over here level up our cream rolls despite the fact that there's no cream okay getting close to the end of the day so the board's music is working because people are staying longer giving us the time but they're not ordering anything anymore so we're gonna go and... Do this, special. On the wall with a counter. Okay. wall is that it I'm really confused right now the thing is I, I don't have like a can I save this so that if I F it up I would be able to like redo it okay There's that special thing for kitchen. Packing table. And I need to put in one light. Okay, this might actually do some damage. Fingers crossed. I will definitely go into negative balance. This is a moderate risk of fire on floor zero. Moderate risk of fire, where? Maybe I'll have to change the floor underneath the... Floor texture. Was that it? Floor zero. No, no idea what's floor zero. This is confusing me slightly. Almost by this point, but I won't be able to get it, which is slightly disappointing. Uh, rank pouring. I don't want to fire anyone, main courses. Uh, we're gonna actually go into the menu. And the uh, non all roasted fish. With this food, you need to have a crate and a fireplace grill. So I would have to research the fireplace grill, which we are currently conducting. This is driving me nuts. I don't understand what's the fireplace risk. Uh, okay, I'll have to probably eliminate this fireplace or the chandelier. 
and instead put their normal lights. So we have like a slight dead space over here. Trying to see if I can somehow reconfigure this. Quite the distance which they would have to travel. Let's see how this is gonna... And there's no light. Crap. So, this won't work. Okay. Maybe if we put this up against the wall. Try to make sure that there's a corridor through which the people can go through. I'm not really sure if this is gonna backfire tremendously or not. But we will see. I've just created a crap ton of space for additional tables. That that's what I'm thinking about right now. How to maximize the potential of the space available to me because it wasn't being done. If I'll be able to put in some stupid light in here, I'll be able to fix this nonsense. Okay. Now it's gonna work out. I'll be able to put in more tables. Not sure how this is gonna affect everything, but let's see how things are gonna work out. If they're gonna be able to find the seats. Yeah, they're able to get there, that's for sure. Uh, I think I'll just go with, again, the regular party. In two days. I don't have the money to buy weed because we are... Woo! I'm running low on water and lemonade. Not good. Where do we have this moderate risk of fire? I don't know. Are they not cleaning the goddamn floors? Okay, so it's working. They're able to find the seats. Just the ladies have to travel quite far. But we are gonna be able to cram in a whole lot of tables. What happened here? 33% increased salary. trying to get those achievements so that I can like level up the bread I have to think about somehow refilling the beverages buy a new barrel of wine by the adventures yeah I need the, the 50 points in order to get here More people to sit, more money to make. We're running the McDonald's of taverns. Why are you so unhappy? I, I either need another chef or I don't know. This is a risky business which I'm running down here. Oh 
be in some deep trouble. Okay, that's the money which will carry us through. And that's because I was able to serve those main courses. So we're gonna put back the deserts on. I'm gonna go into the staff. And I think I might need another chef. Deserts, main courses. I think I might go with you go here. Godfrey, I've increased your salary. I'm not really sure what happened there. Why he's suddenly so upset. But yeah, I think this is going to be it for the initial episode. So it looks really bad. It kind of represents the way I am. And that's the fact that I have terrible lack in decorating just about anything. And if you want to see more, then make sure to subscribe. Or if there are some games which you would like me to take a look at, make sure to let me know through the comment section. I'm constantly on the lookout for something, but I'm kind of trying not to go too much into early access games as of late, because uh, before I went for the Resident Evil, Dead Space, and all these games, I, I got like five early access games that I want to take a look at, and I had to like refund all of them, so yeah, just saying. But thank you all anyhow for watching and tuning in, and hopefully I will see you in the comments or at the next one. Thank you all and bye-bye for now.